Hey guys, and happy Saturday. So I wanted to quickly hop on and share with you a new to me vendor that I've been trying to avoid, um, but kind of pushed to the edge uh, with all of uh, this wax community kind of talking uh, the vendor up. And so I, <laughs> I have a few to thank um, on the round robin because uh, I got some out of that uh, round, robin, round robin and I really like the wax as well as, you know, um, several people have been doing videos or reviews of them. So, or of her, I should say. And so with that in mind, I was like, all right, let me go do a haul. And I was going to start out small and she just has an, a very, very, very big array of scents. So I went in there being like, oh, I'm only going to get a little. And then it turns out that I got, I didn't get a little, but I pretty much got a pretty hefty box full. So I've already started kind of, this came um, this came really quick. Uh, let me see when I place the order. So, um, let me introduce the vendor. It is K wax melts or K scented melts. Um, this was, so I ordered it on August 24th and I think I got it in a couple of days. And there was a few things that I ordered that were out of, well, one happened to be out of stock and then she just refunded me. So, I'm kind of looking through I'm trying to figure out how many did I even get three four I don't even know how I messed up the the website kept glitching and long story short I ended up getting three lemon pound cakes but anyway let's get into it this is K scented melts um I was just like I got tons of clams I really just wanted to to try her wax up out and so um tons and tons of different options uh, a big array of scents, um, a lot of Bath and Body Works uh, dupes, along with uh, their own house blends, which I picked up a lot of their house blends because, again, I wanted to try them out um, and kind of give them, you know, see what the hullabaloo was. So I'm going to separate. I got tons and tons of samples, um, and so I'm going to separate, separate those out first, um, and I'll show you. Here's the card. So it's K... Carla, uh, K handcrafted, highly scented wax melts and K scented melts. So really nice business card. Um, and I really like the, I guess it's a blue robin or whatever, blue something. Anyway, I actually get them quite often outside my window. So um, I pulled some out, but here is the box. So let me, let's start off with the, the ones that are at the bottom and we'll go there. So I got, since I'm a sucker, for lemon pound cake. Again, I don't know what happened, but I ended up getting three. This is vanilla pound cake with lemon ice drizzle, 2.5 ounce. Um, they're about 350, which is really good pricing. Um, and that's what it smells like. It smells like a pound cake. Um, it actually, it actually kind of smells similar to um, lemon drizzle cake from Scentsy. Um, uh, this one is, yeah, again, I kind of get this kind of perfumey note, um, a little slight one. It's not, you still get the lemon, but I got three clams of it, um, and I figured, uh, I like lemon bakery. Why not? I think I also kind of just messed up because again, the, the website kept glitching. I uh, also got one of seven up pound cake. I really wanted to try this. This is vanilla cake. Lemon lime fizz, coconut, almond, and brown sugar. And I was on the fence about this one because I typically don't like things with almond um, because I feel like that's all you get. Um, this is really nice. You do get that, you know, lemon lime fizz. It kind of reminds me a little bit like Rose Girl's 7 Up Pound Cake. So I wonder if it's the same oil. But you do get a little bit of that brown sugar and that coconut. So um, really nice blend. Um, I wish I got more of this one instead of the lemon uh, pound cake, but I got one of those. Um, keeping with the lemon tr lemon trend, I think Martha talked about this one, um, or maybe it was Maggie, if you don't follow both of them. Uh, this is lemon cello cream. This is lemon bergamot sugar cake and honey butter. Again, scents with honey butter or honey. Um, I, I tried Teddy Bee's Honey Bee. You know, if you've watched my channel, I love that one. I've talked it up. People have purchased it because of me. Um, so this one, you get a little bit of a bergamot, very, very light on cold. Um, but it, you kind of, on the undercarry, you get a little bit of that, like a sugar, sugar note. You definitely get the lemon. It's more 
of a Myers lemon in this one with the cream that or like lemon curd versus this one. So I wanted to try this one as well since again I like lemon bakery. So all things lemon. Um, I also like it when I cook. I feel like it kind of cleans up the house a little bit. So you kind of get like the good of the bakery, but you get the lemon. Um, all right, I think that might be it for the lemon. Let's go to lime. So I got a key lime pie. This is tart key lime. So I know Maggie was like, there's a difference between creamy and tart, and there is. Uh, this is a tart key lime. Um, but it's not bad. It's just, it's really, really tart. It's not sweet and creamy. Um, the honey butter and the graham cracker kind of ties that all in, but I got one. I wanted to try it out, so I got a key lime. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what else. Keeping with this turn tone. I switched to strawberry. So I got a strawberry white cake. Uh, again, Maggie talked this one up. This is just vanilla cake and sweet strawberries. And I did get some strawberry out of the, and now this one literally smells like um, sugared strawberry from Scentsy. Um, and you get like a like fresh pick strawberry scent. It's not, this one's not perfumey. Um, you get like a sweet strawberry note. So I wanted to give that one a try since uh, it was topped up. And then I think I got another strawberry one. Let me see if I got it. I thought I did. Um, maybe I did. I got a blueberry. All right, well, let's keep them with the blueberry and strawberry and blueberries. I got on Blueberry Hill. I was on the fence about this one. I put it in my cart and then I took it out because I like blueberry scents, but I don't love them. Um, I've liked Scentsy's, um, I hated Blueberry Rush. I gifted that to Mel. Uh, but I do like, or I did, I had it in my club, Aladdin. Um, uh, what the hell was the name of that one? It's blue. Why am I drawing a blank? Three Wishes, I think it is. I had it in my club, but it's a nice blueberry, creamy. It's not just straight blueberry, but everyone kept saying, like, this is a good blueberry blend. Um, so this is Blueberry Hill House Blend, Vanilla Butter Fudge, Blueberry Cobbler, and Zucchini Bread. And the reason I was on the fence about it was I typically don't like zucchini bread. And on the bottom, that's all you get is zucchini bread. Um, this one's a little artificial to me and that's kind of, again, my fear, but I, I got one, I wanted to try it. I figured, you know, when in doubt, it's three fifty. dollars um, Same thing with this one. Oh, I, did, I knew I had another strawberry. Uh, this is strawberry pound cake. This is Bath and Body Works type. This is vanilla pound cake and strawberries and cream. I already warmed one cube here in my office. It was very light. Um, again, you get like the sweet cream. This one is strawberries and cream. It's not as fresh strawberry. This has like a creamy note. Um, it was good, uh, but I got one of those of strawberry pound cake. And like I said, I had it here in my office. I think it was this week. So it was, it was good. It was just light. Um, all right, and then this one I had, I also kept taking in and out of my office, office, in my cart. This is berry topped waffles. This is a house blend. It's mixed berry uh, compote waffles and whipped cream. I was like, let me just try it out. And this one's really, really good. You get some sort of a waffle note, creamy berries. I mean, it truly does smell like berry topped waffles. So I'm glad I got it. I do like this one better than on Blueberry Hill. Um, this one, you do get more of that, you know, waffle note, some more of a cake note than you do on the on Blueberry Hill with the Blueberry Cobbler. So I like this one better, but I wanted to give it a try. So I got one of those. Um, all right, what else? Let's switch over to, there's just so many. <laughs> Birthday cake. This is vanilla cake and vanilla buttercream. I wanted to try it out. I don't really care for Scentsy's uh, Happy Birthday. Um, so I wanted to try it. And this one, you get kind of like a Play-Doh note at the bottom. I don't get, I mean, I guess that's the vanilla cake. I don't get the buttercream, or maybe that's the buttercream. It's okay. Um, it's really cute. It's got sparkles on it. Um, but I wanted to try just straight birthday cake, and it's okay. All right. Um, Keeping with cake, I did get a house blend. It just was new. Homer's Habit. This is powdered donut, sugar cookie, sugar, waffle cone, and cronut. Um, really cute name. Nice prank wax. Same thing. Sparkly like the birthday cake. 
And this one you get uh, like almost kind of similar to Vanilla Crunch Donuts by Rose Girls. Um, maybe it's the Cronut note. Come on, let's get out the powder donut. This doesn't want to get out. And on the bottom, you get more of that powdered sugar donut. It's good. I do like it. I like this one better than the birthday cake, so I'm glad I got that one. Um, pumpkin cupcakes, Bath and Body Works type. Spice pumpkin cupcakes, ginger and buttercream frosting. Again, warmed one cube of it in my office this week. Now this one was a powerhouse compared to the strawberry pound cake. It warped into, cause again, my office kind of like goes into the garage, like hallway area. And this warped, you, the ginger on it, you really got that ginger. So if you like pumpkin ginger or that ginger note, that's what I got. Now it wasn't bad. I mean, you got the buttercream frosting and the, the sweet note, but I did get a lot of ginger. Um, I don't, I don't know if this would be a repurchase, but it was good. I mean, if you like pumpkin and you like ginger, I would recommend that one because it was a decent performer here with one cube here in my office. Um, next one, keeping with pumpkin, I got Pumpkin Loves Coconut. This was also a new scent. House Blend Coconut Cream Pie, Pumpkin Cupcakes, and Cider Lane. So this one, right off the bat, you get the Cider Lane. You get that apple -y cider note with the pumpkin cupcakes. But you really just get primarily that cider lane. I don't get much coconut uh, cream pie, but I'm curious if that comes out on warm. So I prefer this one better on cold than I do the pumpkin cupcakes, but wanted to give it a try because as I throw things, um, because I do like coconut and pumpkin. So figured let's give that one a whirl. All right, another one that um, I think Maggie got this one. Um, really pretty, like a marbly effect. This is Haddonfield House Blend Sandalwood Vanilla Pumpkin Souffle and Fallen Leaves. This one smells really good on cold. I typically don't like that leaf, that leaf kind of note. But in this one, it smells really good with the, um, the sandalwood. You really do get the sandalwood on cold. Get more on the bottom, but you get this nice creamy, Vanilla, oh my God, that smells like, this is true, like, this is what fall smells like. Yeah, so you get the fall pumpkin souffle. I don't know, I'm, this one I'm gonna warm next on, on, you know, this weekend. But yeah, really, I'm curious to see if I want more of that. Really pretty wax. But yeah, definitely, definitely like that one on cold. That is a house blend as well. Now, love, 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 didn't think I would. I actually was in and out with putting this in my cart as well. And I would have used the whole clam <laughs> if I didn't want to give it up. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to buy a multitude of these. This is an amazing fall scent from Kay. So this is Haunted House Season. Again, didn't think I would like it. Um, fallen leaves, apples, clove, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, the reason why I typically do not, or I was going in and out of pulling this out of my club um, out of my cart. Good God, guys. It, it is Saturday. Um, clove. Don't like things with heavy clove. Also don't really care for some pumpkin pecan waffle notes. I really have to, I don't, some of the pumpkin pecan waffles, just like uh, cupcakes at Tiffany's, it, to me, it kind of gets off artificial. And so I really, it's hard for me to really truly find a good pumpkin pecan waffle. I think the only person that I really like pumpkin pecan waffles from is Sassy Girl. And I just kind of gave it a try. Um, and Harper James um, for cupcakes at Tiffany's. So those are my two vendors that I typically like pumpkin pecan waffles. But anyway, this one, Haunted House Season, so good. I had my mother-in-law here. She was like, this is amazing. <laughs> She's like, this is what a fall shop smells like. So you got the leaves. You got the, that sweet Macintosh apple. You got clove. You got leaves. I mean, it was just a really good, really good performer. Now, the only complaint I have about it is it didn't go very long. So I used that. I only used four cubes. Um, but again, I should have probably just used the whole clam. I just didn't want to part with it. Um... It went for like six hours. It didn't go a whole day. So it started to fade. You really had to get on, on, 
on there. So I don't know, comment below if that's the experience you have with Kay, or maybe I just didn't do the whole thing, but I will be going back and, and getting more of this. So highly recommend if you like all those things. It's just a great fall scent. So that is Haunted House Season. Love it. All right. Another one um, that I was taking it out of my, my uh, cart. Um, and I think Martha talked about this one. This is Holiday Drive. This is a house blend too. Fraser Fir Espresso and Bake Shop. And again, if you know me, don't typically like tree. And I don't typically like coffee. But I was like, maybe with the bake shop because bake shop usually comes off very very bakery if that you know that bake shop oil so i was like maybe that bake shop oil will counteract the coffee of the you know the espresso um and i mean it doesn't i mean you get all of those things but you primarily get the fraser fur it's not bad um but i don't know if that's kind of a love of mine so but i wanted to try it out for the the fall winter season all right, also got a Kevin. This is Sugar Cookie Crunch, Macintosh Apple, and Jack Frost. This is a house blend. This one is really good. I like this one better. And even though it's got like the Jack Frost, like a mint note, this one is really, really good. It actually smells a little bit more like, you get that apple, but you get like a mint note, like a mint chocolate chip note. I don't know, you get... Why am I drawing a blank? Oh, marshmallow mint cocoa. I mean, that's kind of what I get. You get apple in it, but you get like an apple kind of cocoa note. It's weird. Um, maybe that's what Jack Frost is, or maybe it's the sugar cookie crunch. That's probably what it is. It's the sugar cookie crunch. So um, yeah, this one, if you like sweet kind of bakery along with mint, I think you'd like that one. It kind of does still give me the marshmallow mint cocoa vibes. Um, another one that I got, I forgot who talked it up. This is eggnog, vanilla, amaretto, rum, butter, and milk and sugar. And again, some milk notes, but I mean, this is a creamy eggnog. You get that amaretto. You do get like that, you know, amaretto note from like the, the liquor. Um, this one is a true eggnog versus Sensi's eggnog. So really good. Um, probably... We'll probably enjoy that and want to go back for some more. Um, another one is oatmeal cookie, warm, spicy oatmeal cookie. Now, I wanted to see if this smelled like rum raisin cookie from Sensi. And it, it smells like a true authentic oatmeal cookie. But I was nervous about it being spicy, like a spicy red hot. So, I mean, that's why I just got one. But I wanted to try it because it did sound good. All right, guys, only a few more. Then I got a toasted Marshall marshmallow, golden toasty gooey marshmallow. This one's very light. You get like a marshmallow note as I throw it. You get a marshmallow note, but I don't get like a toasty note. I just get a like a marshmallow fluff note. So wonder if that comes out on warm. Then I got, I wanted to just try on its own sugar cookie royale. This is buttery vanilla sweet sugar cookie. And I forgot several people talked about this one, but I wanted to try a sugar cookie on a Royale on its own. And it's good. I mean, it's very, very creamy and buttery and sweet. So um, really good mixer too. And then last but not least, you guys know me by now. I wanted to try her Beach Nights. This is Beach Nights, Bath and Body Works type, Toasted Mallow, Sea Salt Breeze, and Chocolate Graham Cracker. So again, I don't like chocolate and wax, but... This smells literally like Beach Nights, Beach Night cookies from, um, from Lavender and Speckles. So that one is good. All right, that is it for my claims. Got quite a few. Then she sent quite a few samples. I mean, like really, like thank you so much, like tons and tons of samples. Um, so the first sample I got was Vanilla Birch. Really cute, look like ice cream cones and pops. And this is pretty. Very perfumey vanilla, but then you get that woodsy birch note. It's good. Um, I'm glad I got the sample because I was on the fence about getting it in a clam. So I'm glad she sent me that. Also was going to get this one, so I'm glad that I got a sample. This is Gr Grinch Miss Crunch. Super cute snowflakes. And this one for sure is sweet. You get that mint. It almost kind of smells like an Andes, 
mint if you know as guys know what those are so that was a good one if you like mint this one is pink marshmallow world i was going to use it the other day and i this one is very um kind of creamy i don't I'm, i get a little mint i don't know if there's mint in it i don't know the scent notes comment below if you guys know but this is pink marshmallow world so you kind of get a mint note in that then this is Morning Beignet. It's a cute little bat. Look at how cute that is. Um, I was on the fence about getting a beignet again because some of the beignets have like that bread note or that cinnamon note. And this one's really good. There is cinnamon in it um, or some kind of creamy, maybe it's a bread. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I'm glad I got the sample to try it because I think I was gonna get one of these. I can't remember. Sometimes they come off too cakey. And then this one smells delicious. So I haven't, I was gonna put it in my warmer yesterday, but I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna wait till next week. But I feel like everybody who's watching probably would love this one. This is Witch's Wart. It's pumpkin pecan waffles, candy cane, and coffee. So, and guys, totally spot on. You get right on the first sniff, you get pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, you also get a really good creamy coffee. It's very light because, again, that pumpkin pecan waffle kind of takes over sometimes. But it is really sweet, um, really sweet. And I think I'm going to actually enjoy that one. So if, the, if you guys like those scent notes, that is, smells like a creamy, good blend. So, and then I got some candy, a high chew, which is my favorite. So... That's it, guys. That is my K's scented melts. Um, I, again, I kind of went a little crazy. Um, so far, good and bad performance um, based on the scent. Uh, but I really, really highly recommend um, the Haunted House season. Like, that one is just amazing. Just didn't go. I wish it went a little longer. But next time, I think I'm just going to use a whole clam. So I'm definitely going to go back for more. And then what she credited me was blackberry jam butter cookies. It was out of stock. She said she couldn't get the oil. So if you guys go and place that order, just keep note that if you like blackberry jam butter cookies, I wanted to try hers. Uh, she can't get the oil right now. So that's it, guys. I wanted to share with you my first time vendor and my haul. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.